What is up ladies and gentlemen, Johnny5 Alive here and in today's video we're gonna I'm gonna give you guys a building tutorial on how I build my buildings in Planet Coaster. So stay tuned and let's check it out. All right, if you guys do like that video, please be sure to smash that like button, subscribe for more content like this, and let me know what you guys think of this tutorial down in the comments below. All right, so let's get started here. I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of talking and walking you guys through the starting of a building. So it's gonna be a little bit of a process, a new process to me. So we'll figure it out. We'll get through this. This is my collection that I've been working on. It's a sci-fi set, and everything I'm gonna teach you here is gonna be applicable to the other themes as well. And I eventually in the future will be working on those other themes and I'll do some videos on that. So this video will be more helpful to those of you who want to do sci-fi because I will be using the sci-fi pieces but like I said you'll be able to use these techniques just as easily on some of the other themes. So first thing let's change the time of day here. I always like to work at 12 p.m. for some reason just the way the light hits the buildings. I find it a little bit helpful. It's nice and bright. We can see everything clearly. The first thing you want to do before you start is obviously get an idea. Draw some inspiration. So you know for me when I was doing Doing these shop facilities I was just kind of I went into the shop facilities and I thought to myself you know what is a, uh, a hot dog squad right and then I thought what are the components that make a hot dog squad cool so I thought wouldn't it be awesome if I could incorporate a hot dog grill into this now obviously that won't work for certain themes such as fantasy I mean you could find a way to work you, you might be able to use a hot dog in a sci uh, in a fantasy theme but for sci-fi it just so happened that I could go crazy so that's why I am fascinated with the sci-fi theme so I could do these crazy like uh, mustard pumps and ketchup pumps and those are the different things I was thinking about when making this building what inspires me about a hot dog squat and then this is a big I, 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 cert, I did a certain kind of theme to it, which is like industrial factory district. So it has these big smoke vents and, you know, it has the grills and it has this scaffold kind of metal plating around the outside to make it feel big and industrial. And then if we, same same with the milkshake, we have these pipes and almost like these, these milk vats or whatever. They feel very natural. If it, it just, it seems like milk would be full in here. And then like little, little additions, like the milk being pumped through these and finding creative ways to say, hey, this is a milkshake factory, the chocolate, the banana, the strawberry flavorings being pumped into this stuff. And I'm just trying to kind of look through the pieces and see what inspires me about them and what can I draw from them. Now obviously these ideas aren't gonna come out of thin air, so you're gonna need some inspiration. So first of all, there's the planet coaster stuff. So this stuff here comes with the game and it's I, I plop them down just to kind of get an idea of how they do things. So we look at these buildings here, they're using the vinyl plastic for building their buildings. So if we go to building sets, building materials and the vinyl plastic. So these are what's constructing these building pieces. So uh, I, I kind of said to myself, all right, this is what I'm gonna use in combination with metal. And then you can, so they use the metal outside here. All right, so that's how they build their buildings. So I decided, okay, that will be a good base for me to work with. That's kind of what decided me into making my building shapes. Now they've also added some cool things like these are the doors they use. So I wanted to make sure that they use these doors. They have the bins outside. These are key components to making your buildings believable. You want the buildings to feel like they're lived in. Like the employees have a place to come out and put the trash. There's air conditioning units, wires running around the building, the bins, and you know, on top there's these AC units. And uh, on the front, there's these sci-fi plates with sci-fi lights the sci-fi panels. So taking a look at this, you can kind of get some ideas into how to make your own buildings. And if we go back to mine over here, you can see that I use these ideas, but put my own little touch. Sometimes I'll put a different header on for some of these other buildings. I'll switch it up. I'll do something different. I'll change the color, switch things up a little bit. You want these little kick kickstands that'll add uh, that sci-fi feeling to the base of your buildings go through it and come up with new ideas as I'm going but there's the key components that I keep throughout and that's the the proper doors the 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 AC units the trash cans some you know some nice lighting so if we look at the nighttime scene it's always good to have it so you know it's believable like if employees come out here and they're working at night they can actually see it's all about trying to make things feel somewhat realistic but then also compacting it down into a little set like for example this it doesn't I don't need to build everything that a real rocket ship has I just need the core components the scaffold that hold it up 
the platform, but I don't need to build out the rest of it because you get the idea. It becomes, you look at a set and you shrink it down, strip down all the junk and keep the core components. And then you get this quaint little feeling set. Same with uh, like toxic relief. I could have made all these other things around it, but it doesn't need it. And you look at it like, these guys, they don't really have a way to get up here. There's no ladder, there's no door. But at the end of the day, from a distance, it kind of makes sense. You're, it, it's believable and I stripped down all, like you don't need pathways and walkways and all this crazy stuff. You're just stripping it down to its core essentials and it somehow becomes believable. Um, so that's a little bit t a tip there. So yeah, looking at these buildings here, I kind of, you know, want to draw some inspiration, get my ideas. I like how they use this packing district over here. And without just straight copy pasting it or stealing it, you kind of just use the ideas to your advantage. So here I use mine with a hot dog and I put some ketchup and mustard barrels and, you know, like their, maybe their buns are in these boxes. Then I put my own little ideas for the side rather than just having pipes. They're pipes going into mustard and ketchup and you know obviously the AC unit it's, it's a good idea it's a nice touch so I just taking core elements and then adding my own fazza to it and uh, you know even the AC unit I kind of took that idea but mine's a bit taller it has more vents it has some steam coming out I put this on top I changed it up and made it my own and this one here I don't know if I still have the blueprint for it this guy. So my original inspiration was from the shops and drops career mode. And I saw this and I thought, oh, what a clever idea. And as you can see here, I decided to, you know, keep the style. It's, it's pretty similar, but then, you know, I didn't like how they used the wood. I think it's pretty plain on the back. I didn't like this top piece. And there's just certain things that I didn't prefer. And then, you know, I just I just changed it up. So I, I wanted to elaborate on that. And then I add my own trim to it, which kind of makes it feel like a diner. It, it has this white with the pink. And then I used the white metal scaffold on the sides, changed up the kickers on the front and the bottom. And then it really comes into feeling like my own unique kind of style of building. But I did draw inspiration from something else. So it's good to have inspiration before you start to get some ideas on what kind of building materials are you going to use and then what kind of fine details are you going to use and so it's good to have go to the steam workshop and draw inspiration from other people's stuff so here i just download a bunch of sci-fi stuff and i'm just looking at how people do their things and i'm not going to copy or steal anything but i'm going to get some ideas and draw some inspiration for example this guy created a really cool idea here, which I absolutely loved. And I thought, let's play around with this idea. And I, I liked how it looked a uh, very commercial feeling. So for my bank, All extra money so you were able to stay in the park. So for my bank, I, I did I, I took the idea and I added my own flair to it. I put spheres on the inside to give it color. So this has this more earthly water planet with green on top. So I put a sphere on the inside, changed up the colors, but I did like the idea and it's a great way of using sci-fi plants. So I definitely drew inspiration from another Steam Workshop creator stuff and I thought that was great. So look at what other people are doing and kind of get some ideas on you know, like this one, this is very unique. I didn't ever think about using the wood and it does feel somewhat sci-fi sci futuristic in a modern sense. And I love the idea here, using the upside down jet engines for planters. It's really awesome. That's a great idea to keep moving forward in order to do sci-fi scenery, uh, turrets, different ideas, you know, and, and just go through people's stuff and, and try and Get some inspiration on ideas for yourself. I really love this commercial style feeling and maybe I'm gonna do some buildings in the future and these are good for reference, getting ideas from. Love this little um, solar panel, it's great. Like this little gas station idea. So I don't really necessarily, I'm, I'm not gonna really use any of these, but some of the ideas, there's core elements that I like to draw from. And to, to name a few, this one's one that I used. Um, that's about it, I think. Uh, I, I like the commercial style feel for this building. You could kind of say I drew some inspiration from that to create this. So for me, what is my sci-fi? What defines it as like a style? I have very different styles in here, even though they all do look similar. For example, we have an industrial 
factory district and I'm gonna build on this a little bit more and you're gonna be able to kind of build like the the worker area so I'm gonna have to build some dump trucks some you know s s some different vehicles and whatnot that are very industrial feeling and once I get that going then you know you're gonna be able to make an industrial sector and then there's like the s research and development so these crazy inventions such as this helmet this t-rex and uh, this would fit with the industrial sector as well and then and um, this is more research and development and you could say this is research and development and then we have commercial we're moving on this is research and development and we have commercial here which is like the medical bay the cafes this is industrial again and then you know more more commercial this could be this feels more like in the factory district then we have another commercial building. So there's a distinct feel between them and I'm going to elaborate on them moving forward. So it's good to kind of define your feel, your style, what you're going for and then start building. All right guys, so looking at everything I've talked about, this is a good starting video, how to get started and get your ideas. So I think I'm gonna cut this video here and in the next episode, we're actually going to build a building. So this is gonna be, so this is gonna be more of a how to get started video. And in the next video, we're gonna actually go in and build one of these things and it'll be more of a tutorial. All right, so thank you guys for watching. Please be sure to like, subscribe and comment and I'll see you guys in the next video.